Number 64. In an experiment in a general chemistry laboratory, a student collected a sample of a gas over water. The volume of the gas was 265 milliliters at a pressure of 753 torr and a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. The mass of the gas was 0.472 grams. And now they're asking, what is the molar mass of the gas? Okay, so let's list out everything that we got. And then from there, maybe we could find a formula. So they're starting us off with saying that we have a volume of the specific gas. So I'm going to say that the volume of the gas was 265 mils at this pressure. So that's the pressure of the gas. So I have a P value of 753 torr. And then they tell us the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. So I have a temp of 27 degrees Celsius. Now they tell us the mass of the gas, the mass of the gas is 0 0.472 grams, 0 0.472 grams. And they're asking for the molar mass. So molar mass equals question mark. All right. So Analyzing what's going on here, right? I don't have any sets of units, so I'm not going to use the combined gas law. So I have one volume, one pressure, one temperature. So that usually comes down to either PV equals NRT or PMM equals DRT. Since they're asking specifically about the molar mass, and maybe I'll just put this over here, I'm going to use the derivation, which is this formula, the PMM equals DRT. Now just know that all the units are locked into that R value. Remember, R is a constant number, it's the gas constant, 0 0.0821. Your teacher or professor may want you to remember it as 8206, but for me, I'm gonna just say 21. That's what I memorized when I was learning chemistry. The units for R is ATM times liter over mole times Kelvin. So these are the four units that are going to be found in the other uh, guys over here. So pressure has to be an ATM. Oh boy, they gave it to us in TOR. So the first thing is, is that we have to go from TOR to ATM. How do we do that? Well, remember your conversion from TOR to ATM. One ATM equals 760 TOR. So the easy way, if you guys want to do a quick can version, in order to go to ATM, all you would have to do is just divide by 760. If you wanted to go from ATM to TOR, you would multiply by 760. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 753 and divide it by 760. And I'm gonna try not to round too much because this is not the answer. So I'm gonna leave a few decimals after it. So 0 0.99. 079, we'll say, and that's my ATM value. Okay, so now I have the pressure. We're looking for the molar mass. That's mm, molar mass. And remember, molar mass is always in grams per mole. So you'll see the mole matches up with the mole in the R value. D stands for density. They didn't give me a density yet, so maybe I'll just skip that one for now. But T, capital T, is temperature, and temperature has to be in Kelvin. But of course, you knew that was coming. Degrees Celsius, we got to convert to uh, Kelvin. So how do we do that? Plus 273. So 27 plus 273, 300. So I got 300 Kelvin. Okie dokie. Maybe I'll just throw this over here a little bit. Okay. So now we have the temperature. We have the R value. We're searching for the MM. So that means that we have to find out what the density is. But remember, density equals something divided by something else. It's the mass divided by the volume. And just know that the density here is always going to be grams per liter. So it's got to be a gram amount per liter if you're using it in this formula. 
mainly because the grams are seen in the molar mass and the liter is found in that R value, so they have to match. Oh, they gave us the mass. That's where I'm going to use the mass value. So I'm going to say that I have 0 0.472 grams divided by the liter. Oh, here we go. But unfortunately, they gave it to me in milliliters. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert milliliters into liters. But we know how to do that. Just divide by 1,000 or take the decimal, move it over three times to the left. So this would be 0 0.265 liters, and that's the number that goes on the bottom. Now let's just find out what that density is. So 0.472 divided by 0.265. And once again, I'm going to try not to round as much because this is not the final answer. So 1.78, we'll say 1, 1, and that's grams per liter. Now I have the density, solving for the molar mass. Let's plug everything in. So pressure, 0 0.99079 times x, because that's what we're solving for, molar mass. So I just like to label it as x, times the density, 1.7811, times the R value, 0 0.0821, times the temperature, 300, and then get x by itself, so I have to divide on each side by the 0 0.99079. I'm going to do this all in one shot on the calculator, but you can, you know, get this as one number, whatever works best for you. And there we go, we're going to find x, which is the molar mass. 1.7811 times 0 0.0821 times 300 and then divide that by 0 0.99079. And I'm looking back, looks like they give me three sig figs, so three sig figs is the way to go. 44.3, and molar mass, remember, is grams per mole. And that is the molar mass of this gas, whatever it is. We don't know what it is, but we know the molar mass. Okie dokie. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Really do appreciate all you guys. And let's keep working hard. I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.